that the Nazi Holocaust has now become the main ideological weapon for launching wars of aggression. It's the suffering then used as another pretext or excuse to humiliate, degrade, and torture the Palestinians. That's the problem. Being a victim gives you a lot of license to do awful things, and still you are right, at least in your own eyes. This is why things in Israel officially are compared to the Holocaust. To say that the Israelis are behaving like the Nazis is a sadistic thing to do. It's Jew baiting on the most extreme level. Northeastern University, founded in 1898 and located in Boston, Massachusetts, is one of the largest private universities in the United States. The university describes itself as a leader in global experiential learning. In 2011, it was ranked as the number two most up-and-coming university in America by U.S. News and World Report, and the number four most entrepreneurial university by Forbes magazine. But recent discoveries raise serious questions. Are members of the Northeastern Faculty and Administration subverting the Holocaust in order to demonize Israel and the Jewish community? My father was born in New York City, in Manhattan. Uh, he was the son of uh, two uh, Polish immigrant Jews. Uh, in, at the age of 18 in 1944, he volunteered for the United States Army because he understood what was happening in Europe and he wanted to go and fight Hitler. My father decided to endow a chair at Northeastern University to, to study the Holocaust because he was concerned that the Holocaust was being, would be trivialized or forgotten over the, over the years. And so this was his way of making sure that didn't happen. We're now seeing uh, a situation where it's being, where the whole purpose of it is being transformed and, in my view, perverted into an attack on Israel and, a, and a, 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 an attack on the Jewish community. My name is Ines Hedges. I'm the Stotsky Professor of Jewish Historical and Cultural Studies. This is my last year in that position. And um, I certainly didn't want to end my tenure without having Alice Rothschild come and speak to us. Alice Rothschild is a physician and an anti-Israel activist a frequent writer and speaker who is known to demonize the Jewish state. What we were trying to do is um, really think about what's the impact of the Holocaust on the founding of the State of Israel, on the Israeli psyche, and how people act and behave and react. This involves us understanding that out of our catastrophe, we created another catastrophe, which means that we have to take responsibility for it. Much like the child of abusive parents, Israelis are capable of committing their own abuses in the name of security and in defense of their own sense of victimhood. I was born in 1925 in Trebinia, which was 18 miles from Auschwitz in Galicia. The first few days when the Germans walked in, in 39, they were killing the Jews right away. And this is when they killed my father and a brother of 24. I am very disappointed and angry and in pain to see what Northeastern does. They're using the Holocaust in Israel for political gains. And that's not right. The Stotsky Professorship is not the only program Northeastern faculty members have used to distort the meaning of the Holocaust. Established in the 1990s, the Holocaust Awareness Committee plans and coordinates Holocaust Awareness Week, an annual series of events advertised as bearing witness to the Jewish genocide. In 2010, Stephen Stotsky was approached for his input. A member of the committee had requested that I make a recommendation as to who would be a good person to speak at the event, and um, I had recommended a very distinguished professor at Harvard named Ruth Weiss. My understanding was that Ruth Weiss was rejected uh, because she was considered too closely tied to Israel. After rejecting Professor Ruth Weiss, the Holocaust Awareness Committee at the initiative of former Stotsky professor Inez Hedges, invited Israeli filmmaker Yoav Shamir 
an inflammatory critic of Israel and the Jewish community, to present his film, Defamation. The film's thesis contends that anti-Semitism no longer exists in the world, and it features a who's who of other well-known defamers of Israel and Jews. Uri Avniri is a longtime critic of Zionism and Israel, who met with and supported Yasser Arafat during the war in Lebanon. התופעה הזו שנקראת אנטישמיות היא קיימת רק בתקשורת הישראלית ועל ידי כל מיני פונקציונרים יהודים בעולם שהם מתפרנסים מזה. Defamation also features an interview with Norman Finkelstein, a political science professor who was denied tenure at DePaul University based on concerns about both his scholarship and his character. For example, Finkelstein has referred to Nobel laureate Elie Wiesel, a survivor of the Buchenwald concentration camp, as the resident clown of the Holocaust circus. But the Nazi Holocaust has now become the main ideological weapon for launching wars of aggression. It's the suffering then used as another pretext or excuse to humiliate, degrade, and torture the Palestinians. That's the problem. Astoundingly, the Holocaust Awareness Committee had officially decided that the best way to commemorate the Holocaust on Holocaust Awareness Week was by showing a film that accuses the Israelis of acting like Nazis. We've moved from sort of uh, reasonable arguments about how unique the Holocaust is to total perversions of what the Holocaust was um, in an effort um, I, I would call it moral sadism. I mean, to say that the Israelis are behaving like the Nazis is a sadistic thing to do. It's Jew baiting on the most extreme level. Today, when I hear about people who think that we take advantage of it, what is it like Finkelstein, he really makes my blood boiling. That I don't want to even mention his name. But how can he come with such accusations? How can he excuse us that we are like Nazis? Uh, I was uh, outraged and I felt a certain responsibility because of my father's endowment to the, to the university for Holocaust studies that someone had to speak out. I would, would have preferred that people within the university would have stood up and that other people involved in Holocaust education would have made their voices heard. Some Jewish professors at Northeastern were aware of the abuse of Holocaust remembrance for political reasons, but felt too intimidated to speak up publicly. In December 2010, Stotsky wrote an article in the Boston Jewish Advocate criticizing Northeastern's invitation to Yoav Shamir. In response, the Holocaust Awareness Committee changed its plan and sought another speaker for the event. Yoav Shamir, however, was invited by Northeastern to show his film later in the year. Yoav Shamir's invitation illuminates the serious ongoing problems with the misleadingly named Holocaust Awareness Committee, problems that can be traced to the committee's founder, Philip Backstrom, a history professor with a well-established record of exploiting the Holocaust to bash Israel. In a 2001 email to fellow committee member Elizabeth Weika, Backstrom depicted Israel as a Nazi state. It seems to me that from the beginning of Israel's militant appearance on the world scene after World War II, it has acted in a way that is sadly expansionist, Lebensraum, and sometimes even seems to be motivated by a sort of racial nationalism. Judaism being a religion, how can one ever sympathize with the notion of a Jewish state? Both Lebensraum and racial nationalism are explicitly Nazi terms. The idea that, that you can compare Nazi genocide with Israeli treatment of Palestinians is on the face of it so ludicrous that any student who were to present a similar argument in a paper, even as an undergraduate, would fail automatically. And yet, we have this discourse about Palestinian genocide. And there you get a really grotesque abuse of the Holocaust. Immediately after September 11, 2001, Backstrom wrote to a fellow professor, 
Tragically, terrorism seems to be the most, if not only, effective way an impoverished people can wage war against the sophisticated, fiendishly destructive killing machinery used by richer nations such as the U.S. and, yes, Israel. Professor Backstrom taught at Northeastern for 41 years before retiring. His History Department Guide to Holocaust Information remains on Northeastern's website. The guide claims that Israel's treatment of the Palestinians should be considered in the same manner as the Holocaust and other human tragedies, such as the Armenian Genocide, Rwanda, and the Darfur Sudan massacres. In 2001, Holocaust Awareness Week included a three day symposium titled Third World Views of the Holocaust, which coincided with Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Remembrance Day. The event was organized by Professor William Miles, who at the time held the Stotsky Professorship. One of the presenters was Nadim Ruhana, a professor at Tufts University and the founder of Mada al Carmel, a think tank based in Haifa. Professor Ruhana gave a speech supporting and repeating the lie that Israel is worse than the Nazis. To make this comparison it defies not just historical sense, but it defies moral sanity. In 2007, Professor Ruhana co-authored the Haifa Declaration, a document that accuses Israel of exploiting the Holocaust and calling for the destruction of her Jewish identity. In 2009, Mada al Carmel participated in a campaign that demonized Israeli soldiers as rapists. In 2010, Invited to speak about the destruction of European Jews at Northeastern, Professor Ruhana wrote that it would be politically and morally wrong for the United States to support recognition of Israel as a Jewish state. The real onus here is on the community at Northeastern and on the, the community of intellectuals in the West who should be saying, this is ludicrous stuff, you can't expect us to take you seriously. And instead, they're lionizing people like this. In 2005, the Holocaust Awareness Committee was chaired by Christina Bredotti, at the time a Ph.D. candidate in law and public policy at Northeastern. A year earlier, Bredotti had signed a letter on behalf of Al-Ada, a group on the ADL's list of most prominent U.S.-based anti-Israel organizations. The letter called Zionism a European settler colonial movement and accused George W. Bush of allowing Israel to commit ethnic cleansing. Under Bredotti's leadership, the Holocaust Awareness Committee invited anti-Israel activist Claudia Kuhns as a guest speaker. Professor Kuhns signed a letter accusing Israel of planning to commit further crimes against the Palestinian people, up to full-fledged ethnic cleansing. I was born in the city of Plotsk in Poland. We were sent to Auschwitz. That was the final solution to be destroyed there. And so we arrived in Auschwitz, and again there was a selection by Dr. Mengele. And uh, luckily I wound up on the side that he considered among the people that uh, still can work. There was another column that was taken straight to the guest chambers. It is disappointing, it is outrageous to me as a Holocaust survivor. Uh, what is happening in um, Northeastern, that they are using the Holocaust and turning it into a political action turning against Israel. And that is very painful to me. Who would want to give money to Northeastern with uh, specific wishes and then have it misused like that? I always thought of Northeastern as a great institution for learning and they're really turning history upside down. Until recently, Holocaust Awareness Week was administered by Northeastern Spiritual Life Center, whose stated mission is to serve, support, nurture, and celebrate the spiritual and religious well-being of all in the Northeastern community. Brandy Purcell, the center's administrative assistant, is also a member of the Holocaust Awareness Committee. In 2011, Purcell and another member of the center, the Episcopal Chaplain Rev. Judith L. Stewart, led a student trip to Israel and the Palestinian territories, where they met with Manuel Musalam, a Gaza priest who supports Hamas and promotes the deicide charge against Jews. 
The Jews are the ones who killed Jesus. After him, they killed the Christians, and after them, the Muslims. Now they are again killing both the Muslims and the Christians. Throughout history, we have seen that the Jews persecuted the Christians at the beginning of the church, and now they are again persecuting the church and Islam. Instead of serving and protecting our community on campus, the Spiritual Life Department contributed towards a hostile environment against us. Very hard to understand that the university, who's supposed to be tolerant, understanding, and, and fighting for the truth, how can they come out with such lies about, about us and Israel? What's happening at Northeastern University is an outrage. The Holocaust is being transformed to justify hatred of Israel by radical faculty with silent acquiescence of the university's administration. The university should apologize and launch an independent investigation explaining how such demonization of Israel and the Jewish community was allowed to happen. The university should form a new Holocaust Awareness Committee composed of faculty sympathetic to Jewish peoplehood Professors who claim that Jews act like Nazis are engaging in bigotry. To prevent such bigotry, the university should extend its minority sensitivity training to include Jews. Mm -hmm.